Hi, I'm Dave Dobbins and welcome to Victor Videos. Thanks for joining us. On today's program, we're going to be looking at something really exciting. You know, for the last several months, we've been doing a series of programs on different types of musical formats. Today, we're going to continue in that trend with an inside look into what's called now urban contemporary, or what has been traditionally called rhythm and blues. Urban contemporary has become one of the most popular styles in today's Christian music, and much of the success is a direct result of extremely talented new artists entering into the field of music. On today's program, we're going to take a look at some of these artists who are making an impact on Christian music. We have new music from Edwin Hawkins, Witness, Lexi, Keith Staten, and Take Six, my favorite group. Also, a special interview with Commission. Well, here are two, our first two videos for the program. Here's MC Hammer and his new video, Pray, followed by Michael McDonald and Love Is No Color. Two in a row on Victory Videos.
from the Winans with Michael McDonald in Love Has No Color. Before that, we heard from MC Hammer and his newest video, Pray. Boy, I like that song. You know, that video has been on about everybody's program all across the nation, on MTV and to VH1. The song was a big uh, commercial success on mainstream radio. So uh, you just saw something really hot. We want to get it right here for you on Victory Videos. Let's take a look at two new artists that are having a real positive influence on today's urban contemporary music. Here's Lexi and Dedicated, followed by Deliverance and their new video, To Be Loved. Two in a row on Victory Videos.
And I'm Wendy Kaiser from Res, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Victory, Victory Videos. When you graduate from college, what will you be able to offer an employer? I like working with people. I really like working with people. I really like people. I'm a people person. I'm eager. I'm eager. Eager. I think I'm eager. And I was president of five... Offer an employer something meaningful, practical work experience. A nationwide college program called Co-op Education can give you that competitive edge. And I'd even relocate. Right Co-op Education. It's the experience you need for the job you want. That was Deliverance and To Be Loved. Before that, we heard from Lexi and Dedicated. Deliverance is a new group out of Indianapolis, Indiana, and Lexi is a communications major at Bowling Green University in Ohio. Both have recently, recently released their first albums and have seemingly are headed for very successful careers. In a recent interview in CCM Magazine, Lexi, whose real name is Alexis Marie Nuclos, admitted that a career in music was the farthest thing from her mind. But Michael Brooks of the group Commissioned heard her, sent a tape of her music to Lexicon Polygram Records in New York, 
and the record company liked her so much that they signed her right away on the spot to a recording contract. Lexi goes on to say, it all sounded like a fairy tale with a very happy ending. You know, it's great to see somebody with that kind of talent using it for the glory of the Lord. Talking about talent, here's one of the most underrated groups in contemporary Christian music today. We're talking about the group Commissioned. We had a chance to talk with these guys at Ichthus in Wilmore, Kentucky earlier this spring. So let's spend some time with, with them, one of the top urban contemporary groups of today. Here's Commission on Victory Videos. I'm Darlene Thomas and welcome to Victory Videos. I'm standing here today with Commission, a great group of guys here. And let me just ask you guys a couple of questions, okay? Okay. Explain to us a little bit about how you guys uh, got started in the ministry. What really put this band together, you know? Well, Keith. <laughs> Okay, well, we were all doing uh, different things in Detroit. That's where we live. Um, musically, Fred was playing for the Winans and some other groups. Carl and I were in a singing group, and Brooks, and we all sort of met through music. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we talked about getting together, and Fred initiated and got the guys together, and we had a few rehearsals. We liked what we, we heard what we liked. We like what we heard, <laughs> and it's been history ever since. Okay, sounds really good, guys. Uh, the music industry is considered you guys to be R&B and funk, rock. What exactly do you guys consider yourselves? Um, well, Carl, I'll answer that one. <laughs> no, um, yeah, if we were to be classified, you know, I guess it would be more on R&B side. Um, R&B gospel is there if there is a such thing because we have a heavy bass and a heavy snare and, and we go on the two and the four so I guess that would classify us but we also have a we've been classified with a pop feel on certain songs so you know we're just kind of poppy poppy gospely with a gospel yeah. band, you know, we just, we get, we just, we, I guess we're an R&B band, I guess, if we just wanted to be classified, but mainly we're a gospel band, so, um, that's where your main focus is, that's where our focus is at, that's not just the main one, the focus, the only focus is really on Jesus, and, uh, that's where we're, you know, that's where we're at. there's a young person out there is just looking at the glitter and the fame you know they think that yeah, once they that. make it you know um, on stage the big time that they've arrived you know what advice would you give them well, well first of all one of the things that we've always strived to to do was to show people that commission wasn't an over, overnight success mm -hmm. and that we've sacrificed a lot of things to get to a place to where we could do this for a living and I'm not just saying singing, but to minister to young folks mm -hmm. at large in the U.S. One of the things I would let them know is that if you're going to be in gospel music, you have to be committed to being saved and, being, and be committed to being an example to young folks all across America. That's when you're on, on the stage and off the stage. And that that's one of the problems that we're having now with young folks is that they're not committed to doing what it takes to be a Christian. And that's what we, t we did. We took out time to be dedicated and committed to being Christians first. And then we became gospel artists. So if we ever stop doing gospel music, we'll be Christians. So we'll never lose our base. We'll never switch to R&B music. We'll always be gospel. And if they stop selling records one day, we'll be Christians. Well, I hope you enjoyed that time with Commission. Dave Dobbins with you on Victory Videos, if you just join us. And thanks for being with us today. We're continuing our inside look into urban contemporary music on today's program. And we just saw one of the Christian music's fastest growing groups called Commission. Later on in the program, we'll hear more from the group commission. But now, we'd like to take an opportunity to invite you to write us here at Victory Videos. We'd like to hear from you. We love letters. And so when last time, last time you sat down and wrote a letter to Victory Videos? If you'd like to write to us and tell us about your favorite video, let us know if there's something that you would like to see. The Fallons did it, and we'd like to hear from you. We're here currently every week for you. Uh, playing your favorite videos and tell us about if you've taken the time to uh, 
to receive the Lord into your life and, and what your life is, kind of changes your life has gone through, write to us at Victory Videos, 6800 Hazel Court, Florence, Kentucky, 41042. That's Victory Videos. Get your pencil out. Victory Videos, 6800 Hazel Court, Florence, Kentucky, 41042. And if you can't get a hold of us through writing, you're welcome to call us at area code 606-371-9988. That's 606-371-9988. We're in the Cincinnati area and we'd love to hear from you. Well, also, if you want to hear about the best contemporary Christian radio, tune into 1050 AM WTSJ and hear Mark Allen's Honest to God Rock. He's on the air Monday through Friday from 6 to midnight. Also, on Sunday mornings, you can catch Kelly St. James on the Wink 94.1 from 7 to 10 AM with Alive in Christ, all the best in contemporary Christian music. We want to let you know where else you can get good, more good music like this. Coming up in the second part of Victory Videos, we'll see new videos from Witness, Edwin Hawkins, and Take Six newest video. And this is one you got to stay here for. It's going to be great. It's called I L O V E U, and lots more. So stay tuned right here to Victory Videos. And after this, we'll be back with more right after this. When I found out my son was into drugs, I found him a drug treatment center in our neighborhood. You help one person quit, and you help get drugs out of town. I'm a drug buster. See that house next door? It's a center for people in drug treatment. When it started, everyone objected. Now we all see it as the way to get drugs out of here. We're all drug busters. Drug busters don't let drugs win. A public service of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Hi, I'm Bo Jackson. As a professional athlete, I know the importance of being physically fit. I also know that the time to start exercising and eating right is when you're young. This year, millions of kids will attempt to qualify for National or Presidential Physical Fitness Award and find out how fit they really are. And hey, it's a lot of fun. Ask your teacher about participating in the President's Challenge and then give it your best shot. Hi, I'm Dave Dobbins reporting for Victory Videos Music Update. Unfortunately, we start out, start out our news this evening with some very sad news. Tragedy has struck the Christian community as D-boy rapper Danny Rodriguez was shot to death on October the 6th, 1990. At press time, details are sketchy, but according to the police, the incident occurred around 4 a.m outside of Rodriguez's apartment in East Dallas, Texas. Police have no suspects and no known motive for the crime. Our prayers go out to the Rodriguez family. More personnel changes for the Imperials as David Robertson and Ron Hemby, who were on this program earlier this year, are replaced by new members Jonathan Hildreth and Jason Bedbo. Steve Taylor has resurfaced recently in a new band called Chagall Guineva. Other band members include Dave Perkins, Lynn Nichols, and Mike Mead. The group played its first concert in Nashville recently and is planning its first release on MCA Records in early 1991. Holy Soldiers requesting help for their video See No Evil so they can receive some airtime on MTV. This is a good way to get ministry out to other people, so if you want to support them, you can call for airtime on 1-800-DIAL-MTV during request times. Julie Muller was in the Netherlands back in October performing concerts all across that particular country. She also filmed a TV special for Dutch television. So you're doing a great job, Julie. Finally, Mike Stan from the Altar Boys has released a new video project called Mercy Is What We Cry For. It contains all the Altar Boys videos, plus concert footage and interviews with band members. Well, that's it for now. I'm Dave Dobbins reporting for Victory Videos Music Update. Stay tuned for more right after this. We're commissioned, and you're looking at Victory Video, the best in contemporary gospel video. videos.
Chasing fortune and success Let's climb the highest mountain Sail across the seven seas You might find your dreams With kings and queens And some life's mysteries to Victor Videos, you just saw Witness and You Haven't Lived, which is followed up by their first video, The Old Landmark. And then we heard from Keith Staten and his first video, Miracles. We've been talking about urban contemporary music and the impact that these new art artists are having on this particular format. Sometimes it's very difficult to get a handle on what a certain musical style is. In the case of urban contemporary, it seems to have developed from what some call rhythm and blues into a unique style of its own. Now, Christian urban contemporary mu music is certainly closer to the rhythm part than the blues part, because you're usually not singing the blues. It's got that new life of Jesus in your heart. But all the new artists have brought something uh, different to the emerging musical style. For example, you know, Ray Rene Garcia has added dance, DC Talk has added some rap, Lexi has added pop. So what has emerged is the fusion of different styles. We can say that the music is extremely positive and uplifting. It makes, makes us feel good when we listen to it. And all Christian music should do that, especially when it brings glory to God. Well, let's get back to our interview with that hot group we were talking about earlier called Commission as we take a look at them at Ichthus in Wilmore, Kentucky earlier this year. Here's Commission on Victory Videos. It's been compared to the Winans. And, yeah. and our society, seems we seem to do a lot of that. We compare ourselves you know, to other people, and that's how we find our worth. And um, what would you say that God compares us to? Well, I would say God compares us to us. He compares me to me. 
and he compares Keith and you to you and Keith to Keith and everybody that's out here today. And he compares us all to himself. Jesus compares us to the cross, you know, and, and, and the only person that we're going to have to worry about or, or be a mirror about or get judged against is how close were, how close to Christ were we? And what kind of a reflection? If, he, if we were a mirror and he stood in front of us, would he see himself? And that's where the comparison comes. That's what he compares us to. That's where it all boils down to. Uh, uh, the comparison with the Winans, well, you know, it's four males singing, and they were out first. But one of the things that they, a lot of people don't understand is we grew up in the same high school in the same neighborhood. The Clark sisters, the Winans, commissioned. We were all at the same high school. So we were singing around a lot of time in the lunchroom, and yeah, he went to an all-boys school, you know. That's another story altogether. Bad kid. No. <laughs> But, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that the Lord doesn't compare us to what the Winans do or what uh, the Clark sister does or the Garmon Key. It just, it's just us. It's just, I love you for who you are. This is Randy Thomas with Allies, and we have so many videos that Victory Videos plays Allies videos 24 hours a day, nonstop, round the clock, seven days a week, Allies videos. This is your station, your show for Allies videos. And if you believe that, here's another one. <laughs> A message from the Consumer Information Center in Pueblo, Colorado. If you'd like to give your house some minor tweaks, fix up eensy beensy leaks, trim your tummy, thighs, and hips, go on safe, exotic trips, bank on stocks and count on bonds, stay away from market cons, then you'll want this free and helpful book listing 200 government pamphlets. Look, for this new edition, just drop a line. Write new catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. We want to thank the guys in commission for spending some time with us on today's program. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot from these guys in the future as they continue to share the message of hope with the world and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's move on with more music with a couple of the biggest names in urban contemporary. Here's Edwin Hawkins in his newest video, Still the Need, followed by Take Six in their latest I L O V E U from their So Much to Say album, two in a row on Victory Videos.
Trust in me. from Warner Brothers recording artist Take Six and I-L-O-V-E-U. And before that, we heard from Edwin Hawkinson, Still the Need. What an impact Take Six has made already with only two albums to their credit. According to Gail Hamilton, the group's manager, the group wants only to present Jesus in a package that's appealing and exciting. The band wants to reach young people and let them know that it's cool to be saved. With groups like Tape Six, BB and CC Winans, DC Talk, and of course Denise Williams, Urban Contemporary will continue to grow in popularity and influence. And with the help of Warner Brothers and Polygram Records, having developed gospel divisions that feature urban contemporary music, this will undoubtedly help to promote this format to the public as well. We hope that uh, you've enjoyed this time today, a special look into urban contemporary music on today's program. Take a moment and let's think about something a little different that pertains to all these songs. Let's take a moment and talk about the subject of love. You know, Take Six's video, I-L-O-V-E-U, is one of the many videos on our program that deals with the subject of love. 
Not surprisingly, you know, love is, is a major subject in all of today's music. It's about every song that we listen to. And fortunately, many of the artists have defined love in two ways, sexually and conditionally, meaning that I love you as long as you love me. But what does God say about love? You know, the Bible says that God loves us with an everlasting love. Romans 5.8 says, But God shows and clearly proves His own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God does not love us based on our performance, but on the fact that Jesus died for us, therefore bringing us back to God. We need only to just accept His love. The fact is, the Bible comes down to two things you know, that God wants us to do. The first thing God wants us to do is love God first. The second thing is love the people around us. By loving God's way, we love unconditionally, wanting nothing in return. This is impossible to do in our own power, but you know, with the help of God and of course by believing in Christ, we can start down the road of loving the way that God wants us to. You can find out a whole lot more about this if you want to. And we'd love to hear from you. We'd ask you early in the program to write to us. Or if you just want to find out more about the special love of God, we'd like to invite you to call us at area code 606-3719-988. We're in the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. That number again, if you just need to have somebody just to talk to, 606-371-9988. Or write to us at Victory Videos, 6800 Hazel Court, Florence, Kentucky, 41042. And we'd like to thank you for being with us today. And just remember that if you're in a tough spot, God is always there to reach out to you with His loving hand. He cares about you and He loves you today, just like we do. Thanks you, thank you for being with us today. We'd like to invite you back next week at this same time. This is Dave Dobbins saying, remember to love somebody today with the love of Jesus. We'll see you next week on Victor Videos. Bye-bye.